Hi guys, happy Tuesday, and um, this is gonna be a vlog basically, so uh, <sighs> I'm a little sick right now, but anyway, that doesn't stop me from this channel or anything like that, since it's just talking to you guys, so, uh, which I can do a lot. <laughs> um, so, like, this full moon was really kind of crazy. And I was with my coven, and usually I have things occurring on the full moon. Um, like, this weekend my sister came for a visit to discuss wedding planning with my mom, which I totally stayed out of, and she finally asked me to be in the wedding even though I already knew, and it's like, you're asking me twice? Okay. Um, but this was the weekend of officially asking people to be in our wedding, so... Anyway, uh, and it was kind of a weekend of wedding TV shows, oh my god, like Say Yes to the Dress and all those stupid wedding shows on TLC, um, heh. and until I get an actual job or, like, task for the wedding, I'm gonna stay out of it. <laughs> Has anyone else felt this way? I mean, <laughs> even though I am the sister of the bride, it's like our tastes are totally kind of opposite, and so whatever she's totally into, I'm not, um, but what's weird is I know her, like, tastes and what she likes and what she doesn't like, so if someone asked me, I would say, like, yeah, she likes this, or no, she doesn't like that, but not that I would like it personally, um, and so it's all about, you know, the mo my sister arguing with my mother and stuff like that, and so it's like, I'm done, I'm done. Anyway, um, <laughs> And so, I'm a part of a coven called Come As You Are Coven in the Bay Area of California. It's very eclectic, you know, open-minded, accepts people who they are, hence the name, and each full moon has a different name, and this one was the Laughing Moon. And let me tell you, my gods, um, we have a coven member who is this fabulous older, fabulous older woman, and, um... It was a ritual surrounding the Divine Feminine, or the Sacred Feminine, and she was literally topless throughout the whole thing. My God. And so, um, my coven has separate genderful moons, one for self-identifying women and one for self-identifying men, and I think that's interesting. Um, we were celebrating our yonis, our yonis, or our vajayjays. And it was definitely a laughing moon. We were given quotes with funny expressions on them, and some of them were from, like, Betty White or Ellen DeGeneres, Lucille Ball, Marilyn Monroe, you know. And so uh, afterward, we had our cakes and ale, and the men and women get to mingle. And this one guy kept giving me hugs. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe he just wanted hugs or something. Um, we hardly ever talk. Anyway. Um... So my role in that ritual was warding, and warding is when a person guards, like, the physical space of a coven meeting place, and once that's accomplished, the warder needs to protect the energy and make sure the energy goes where it's supposed to. Um, the trick is not to, like, fully engage in the ritual, but focus on the energy itself of the ritual. And so... You know, the person, the warder needs to be, like, detached and not really help with the raising of the energy itself. And it's really complicated, but it's a rewarding experience in a coven setting. And this is my second year with that coven, so I'm learning all about the... about certain parts of the ritual and helping out and everything before I... before I'm a priestess in that coven. So, um, I'm very glad to be a part of the coven. I met some incredible people, and let's see, spell-wise, I performed another money spell, and some money actually was that was owed to me came already, and someone offered to buy my car, which I thought was funny, and again, this is from an item bought from Scarlet's Cauldron, her stuff comes charged, ready to go, um, and so the tip I'm going to end this video with is shielding. And shielding can help you kind of repel certain people or attract certain people. They can be offensive and defensive. 
a very sim simple technique is get into your meditative state, you know, ground and center, and then visualize what you want your shield to be. Um, is it light? Is it a rose thicket? Is it facets of a diamond? You know, imagine it as uh, surrounding your aura, maybe like two feet around you. So like, make your arms kind of go into like a circle around your body and, you know, that's kind of how far it should go. <coughs> Practice this for about five to ten minutes a day until it becomes second nature. And, you know, then you can program it to do specific things once it's there. And some people even have layers, and the first layer could be like a warning, say, like, don't fuck with me, the don't fuck with me layer. And the second layer is back the hell up. And then the third layer is you screwed with the wrong witch, you know, the offensive layer. Like, if they actually keep nagging at you, nagging at you, nagging at you, and finally you're just like, okay, I've had it. And, but your shield will do this for you. And, um... Experiment with your shields and have fun. I've heard people with shields so strong they can actually, like, avoid physical accidents and stuff. And, you know, put them around your car or your home. And, uh, wow, this video is all over the place. And, uh, let me know what kind of spells you're working on right now. Like, right now, I'm doing a, I'm letting you know about this because it's a community-oriented spell. In that, uh, I'm doing... I was recently evicted from my place due to uh, gentrification in, you know, California, which is a huge problem. And so right now I'm doing a sweetening spell. Uh, I will make a link in the description below how to do one of those, as well as, you know, links to Scarlet's Cauldron and stuff like that. But a sweetening spell for the s members of the city council tonight. Um, because the Renters Coalition is going to be speaking. And I want new laws and stuff like that to be in favor of the renters. Since I got evicted as well. So, anyway, um, I hope this vlog was useful. And as usual, you know, subscribe, like this video, engage in some conversation. That would be great. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And so, uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a happy Tuesday. Bye.